Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Upload. I'm Maris Aylward. Today's class is a 30-minute yoga for stress relief. Perfect for the holiday season. This time of the year, most of us might be feeling overwhelmed or anxious, tired, like we don't have enough time or energy for everything that we need to do. And this is when we need our yoga practice more than ever. Today's video is a more mellow and quiet yoga practice. It's not about how strong or flexible we are. Focus instead on feeling good in the pose and simply enjoying the breath and the movement. Find a quiet space where you won't be interrupted, hopefully for the next half hour, and use this time to just slow down and reconnect with yourself. Let's start. Begin in any seated pose that you like. Sit nice and tall, close the eyes, relax the face and the shoulders. Breathe in a way that's comfortable for you. With each breath, imagine releasing any tension, any stress. Let go of whatever happened today. Set aside whatever you need to do after your practice. This is your time just for yourself. Be fully present in the body. Blink the eyes open. Come up to hands and knees for cat cow. Inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly and look forward. Exhale, curl the tailbone, round your back, scoop the belly in. Again, inhale, lift the tailbone, arch the back, look forward. Exhale, curl the tailbone, round your spine and push the floor away. Continue a few more times at your own pace. Enjoy the movement of the spine. If you like cat cow, you can keep going a few more rounds or add any movements that feel good to the body. You can lean in different directions, maybe move in circles. Notice how parts of the body are feeling today. Get some movement in the joints. Free movement, there is no right or wrong way here. Find what feels good. Make your way back to the center for a downward facing dog. Spread the fingers, press the hands down, tuck the toes under and come up. Move the lower body, walk the feet in place. Notice the calves as you press the heels down, shift your weight side to side. Make sure the head is relaxed and keep the breath going. Pause in your down dog and bend the knees. Walk the hands back towards the feet for a soft forward fold at the back of your mat. Keep the knees bent, relax the upper body, drape your chest over the thighs and let the head go. You can let the arms hang or cup the elbows if that feels better. Linger here as you feel the tension melt away from the upper back, the neck and the shoulders. If you have your elbows, let them go. 
And with any soft exhale, slowly roll up. Take your time. Once you're all the way up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, arms behind you, interlace the fingers. Nice stretch in the chest and the shoulders. Fold forward from the hips as you lift the arms up and let the head go. Any amount that's possible, bring the palms closer together. And breathe. On your next exhale, come all the way up. Once you're up, release the hands. Inhale, unfurl the arms up. And exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees and walk the hands forward to your downward facing dog. Pause a few moments here. Enjoy the full body stretch. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale lightly, step the right foot forward, close to the right hand, drop your left knee down for a low lunge. Walk the hands up and reach the arms up. Feel the stretch in the hip flexors and the quads. Add a side stretch. Take your left wrist, reach the left arm up, and move into your side stretch to the right with a gentle pulling action. Soften the face. Slowly release back to the center. Bring the left hand on the floor and reach the right arm up for a twist. Reach the right arm back a little bit more to stretch the chest, the shoulders. Stay one more deep breath. And release the right hand down to the floor. Lift your left knee up. Turn to face the left side of your mat, the long edge of your mat with the toes turned in. Walk the hands forward as far as you can go, lengthening the upper body. Let the head drop. Stay here a few more deep breaths. Slowly walk the hands back. Get ready to come up. Bring your hands to the hips. Use the strength of your legs to lift you up. For warrior two. Turn the right foot out, bend the right knee. Drop the hips and stretch the arms out to the sides. We'll add some movement. Inhale, arms up, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, arms out, back to warrior two. Two more times, inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. Pause in warrior two with the shoulders relaxed. Feel the inner thigh stretch and the hip opening. And release, straighten that front leg for reverse triangle. Turn the right palm up and reach the right arm up. Rest your left fingertips very lightly on the back leg. Look in any direction that feels good for your neck.
On your next inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, bring the hands down to the floor and step the right foot back to downward facing dog. Pause here or walk the legs in place. We'll do everything on the other side. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale lightly, step the left foot forward. Bring the right knee down, low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Reach the arms up. Soften the shoulders and the face. Add the side stretch. Take your right wrist, lengthen the right arm up, and move into your side stretch to the left. Appreciate the lengthening in the right side of the upper body, the right hip, the right thigh. Come back to the center, bring the hands down to the floor for your twist. Reach the left arm up. If it feels good, reach that left arm back a little bit more. And slowly release your left hand down. Lift the right knee up. Turn to face the right side of your mat. Turn the toes in, fold forward from the hips. And this time walk the hands back as far as you can go. Let the head relax and breathe. On your next breath, slowly walk the hands forward. Get ready to come up. Hands on the hips. Use the strength of your legs to lift you all the way up to standing for warrior two on the left. Let's add our flow. Inhale, arms up straight on the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, arms out back to warrior two. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. One more. Pause in warrior two. Keep the gaze soft. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. On your next breath, release straight in the left leg for reverse triangle. Left palm up, left arm up. Rest the right hand very lightly on the right leg. Look in any direction. Explore what feels good for your neck and your shoulders. On your next inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, bring the hands down to the floor and step back to downward facing dog. Linger in your downward facing dog or flow through a modified vinyasa. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, wave forward to plank. Inhale, drop the knees to the mat. Exhale, lower down with control. Inhale, come up for your back bend, Cobra. Exhale back to downward facing dog.
Look forward at the space between the hands and slowly walk the feet forward. Forward fold at the front of your mat. Keep the knees soft and the upper body relaxed. On your next exhale, slowly roll up. Once you're all the way up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, arms behind you, interlace your fingers your non-habitual way. And fold forward again, draping the chest over the thighs. Let the head go as you lift the arms up. Last few seconds here. On your next exhale, use the strength of your legs to lift you all the way up to a standing position. Once you're all the way up, release the hands, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, go straight to forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step back to downward facing dog. Modified vinyasa. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, wave forward to plank. Inhale, drop the knees to the mat. Exhale, lower down with control. Inhale, come up for cobra. We'll linger here, either in a low cobra or a high cobra. Soften the shoulders down away from the ears. And when you're ready, sit back into child's pose. Stay here with the arms reaching forward, palms face down or face up. Or if you like, bring the arms by your sides with the palms facing up. And stay a few more seconds here. On your next deep breath, slowly start to come up. We'll sit in hero pose, Virasana. Stay here, tops of the feet facing the mat. Or if you can, tuck your toes under and sit on the heels. We'll stretch the neck and the shoulders. Bring your right hand to your head and gently drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Actively press your left shoulder down and feel the stretch on the left side. Release back to the center and switch sides. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Actively press the right shoulder down. Soften the face and breathe. Release, come back to the center. We'll do some seated stretches. Janu Shirshasana. Extend the right leg forward, press your left foot to your right inner thigh. Activate that right foot. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, fold over the right leg any amount. Soften the face and the shoulders. Explore the pose on your own. On your inhales, lengthen the upper body. And on your exhales, fold a little bit deeper. Notice the sensations in the back of the right thigh, right leg. Last few seconds in your stretch. And 
let it slowly release. Walk your hands back. Take a wider stance with the legs for revolved Janu Shirshasana side stretch. Still keep the right foot active. Inhale, reach the left arm up, lengthen. Exhale, move into your side stretch. Feel the play of opposites. Keep pressing the left hip down as you reach the left fingertips away. Keep that opening in the front of the body. Make sure the chest is not caving in. Look in any direction that feels good for your neck. Feel that left rib cage expand with each inhale. Enjoy the stretch in the left side of the upper body. On your next breath, carefully release for a quick counter stretch. Lean over your left thigh for a few seconds. And release, come up. Switch sides. Janu Shirshasana, left leg forward, right foot to your left inner thigh. Inhale, lengthen the upper body. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Keep pressing the left heel forward as you press your toes back towards your face. Pause when you meet resistance in a pose. Breathe through the sensations. Allow yourself to melt into the pose. On your next breath, slowly release and walk the hands back. Take a wider stance with the legs. Inhale, reach the right arm up, lengthen. Exhale, move into your side stretch. Press the right hip down as you reach the right fingertips away. Look in any direction. Notice any subtle differences between the right and the left sides. Enjoy the stretch. Enjoy the breath. On your next breath, release from your pose. Lean over your right thigh for a counter stretch. And release, come up. Bring both legs in front of you and get ready to roll all the way down to your back, all the way down to the floor. For pigeon on your back, Cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Slide your right arm through the space. Bring your hands under the thigh or over the shin. Keep the feet active. As you bring the left thigh in towards the chest, press your tailbone down, press your hips down towards the floor. Notice the sensations in the lower body. Relax the face and breathe. On your next breath, release from your pose. Wrap your right thigh more tightly over the left thigh for eagle twist. Drop your knees to the left. Press the right shoulder down. Look over the right arm. If the twist is too intense, 
uncross the legs, stay in a reclining twist with the legs stacked. Last few seconds in your twist. And come back to the center. Pigeon on your back, cross your left ankle over the right thigh, slide your left arm through the space. Bring your right leg in towards the chest. At the same time, press your tailbone down towards the floor. Keep the feet active. Stay present. Feel the sensations in the lower body. Carefully release from your pose for eagle twist. Wrap your left thigh more tightly over the right thigh. Drop your knees to the right and press the left shoulder down. Stay here or a simple reclining twist with the legs stacked. Last few seconds in your twist. And release, come back to the center. Bring both knees into the chest. Wrap your arms over the legs. Stay here or add any movements that feel good to you. Sway gently side to side or move in circles to massage the low back. If you're moving, pause at the center for happy baby pose. Bring the knees wider, lift both feet up. Hands can be on the thighs, the legs, or the feet. Press your tailbone down towards the mat. Stay like this or add any movements to your happy baby. Rocking side to side or maybe extending the legs. Release from the pose and prepare for Shavasana. Relax the legs, arms by your sides with the palms facing up. Close the eyes and feel them become heavy in their sockets. Relax your tongue, let it fall away from the roof of the mouth. Soften the entire face. Let go of any gripping or tension in the body. Completely surrender to the pose. The music will play for one more minute. Of course, stay in Shavasana as long as you like. 
Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. Namaste.